Hello, I'm Beth Hallett, Superintendent of the Nantucket Public Schools, with some important updates to share with you. First of all, I want to thank the Nantucket Fire Department Chief Steve Murphy, Director of Public Health Roberto Santamaria, Director of Human Services Jericho Mele, and Nantucket Cottage Hospital Director of Nursing Michelle Epps for their collaboration and good faith effort to organize and support a standalone clinic for vaccinations of K-12 school employees that would limit any major disruptions to the school day for school children across the island. Unfortunately, the state will not be permitting any standalone clinics for these educators until after March 29th, so the clinic that was planned was unable to come to fruition. On a more positive note, over 300 K-12 educators on Nantucket have had their first vaccine dose, with the second to come in a few weeks. I am very proud to be one of those educators who got their vaccine. It is safe, quick, and easy, a real piece of cake. If you work for the, uh, for the public or private schools on the island, make sure to make your appointment soon to get vaccinated at the VFW post. The sooner people are vaccinated, the closer we can come to return to a sense of normalcy in our personal lives, in our schools, and in our community. As I'm sure you are aware by now, Governor Baker and Education Commissioner, Commissioner Riley have uh, required return to full in-person learning for all public school students in the state of Massachusetts. In the Commissioner's guidance on returning to full in-person learning, he has shared that grades K to 5 must be in person on April 5th and grades 6 to 8 on April 28th, 2021. For Massachusetts high schools, Department of Education will announce the return date before the end of uh, April um, with a two week preparation window. So we are waiting on that news. Parents do have the option to request 100% remote learning for their children if they wish, but in order to change to 100% uh, learning, uh, we will need six, four to six weeks. So it is important that parents request what they wish as soon as they can. We have begun surveying parents at Nantucket Elementary and Intermediate Schools and also at um, Cyrus Pierce Middle School and Nantucket High School to determine how many children will be attending in-person learning 100% and how many will opt for 100% remote learning. Our principals, our assistant principals, and other district leaders are hard at work to plan a schedule that provides at le the least amount of disruption to our students' current schedules, which means there will be some important shifts in our day and in our educational model. We will be sharing as many details as we can in the following days and weeks leading up to April 5th with as much preparation time for parents and families as possible. We don't want any surprises uh, and we want to make sure that people are ready. We are finally feeling like things are slowly but surely on their way to uh, school as we know it. As always, I thank you for your partnership, your patience, and your support during this topsy-turvy school year. Thank you.